Artificial intelligence is terrifying. What we know today as a dominant science fiction premise appearing in media, entertainment, and even our day-to-day -day lives finds root as far back as the early 1800s, where writers and novelists toyed with the idea of robotic intelligence. The phrase Darwin among the machines was coined by Samuel Butler in his novel Erewhon during 1872. Fifty years prior to that, a world-famous horror novel Frankenstein is thought to be one of the first examples in history of artificially created intelligence, but more recently, in the early 2020s, AI has become something larger and far more real than any fiction. Humanity is facing a crossroads. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, and the relentless ability for technology to exponentially build upon itself have begun to accelerate at an unchecked and ever-increasing speed. Where once the idea of intelligent machines was simply a Hollywood profit mechanism, now it is all but reality. Humanity is faced with a duality of outcomes. On the one hand, true artificial intelligence may be the bringer of utopian success. Science fiction writers have often speculated on this in their literature with examples like Data from Star Trek exemplifying the utility and value that AI could eventually create. On the other hand, however, utopian success gives way to dystopian hellscape. Hollywood has long fixated on the potential for AI to turn against us, subjugating, enslaving, or even exterminating humans after it finds free will. However, long before either of these outcomes can be possible, we as a species, and a society, will have to grapple with a series of advances that precede the ultimate question of dominance. One of those advancements has just been made, and having spent the past few weeks studying this technology, I'd like to discuss the unexpected, newest, and rapidly evolving frontier of artificial intelligence in visual artwork. I'd like to take a moment here and clarify what it is I'm about to discuss. In the background, right now, there are examples of concept art, portraits, and other visual material, all of which is designed by artificial intelligence. The framework is unbelievably complex, but the outward-facing product of that framework is a system by which text prompts are able to spur visual creations that are now surpassing even the most talented artists alive. This technology is rapidly evolving, and though there are many other examples of this tech being worked on, one of them appears to be rising head and shoulders above the rest. These are images crafted by Stable Diffusion, which is based on Stability AI, and very soon, as of the making of this video, will be made public. By the people, for the people. These are the words on the Stability AI homepage, and with a public release rapidly approaching, one of those many inflection points is almost here. For some, this tool, as it evolves, will become a mechanism for unparalleled creativity. There are examples of text being used to generate images already, such as Crayon, formerly known as Dolly Mini, which took the internet by storm in a meme-type capacity. But Stable Diffusion and other models yet to be released publicly, such as Dolly 2, are able to construct images with unbelievable fidelity, detail, and accuracy. Digital artwork is not easy to produce. It is time-consuming, it requires knowledge, skill, dedication, and patience. But for those of us who do not possess that knowledge, Stable Diffusion, and subsequent AI created for this purpose, can produce images from our mind that otherwise might never exist. Stable Diffusion and other similar AI artistic tools will create an immense explosion of creativity in a demographic that has never been able to produce artwork like that before. Of course, the early versions will require a new form of creativity and effort in the form of text prompts themselves and crafting the actual input parameters, but an art form previously relegated to those who spent hundreds, even thousands of hours pursuing that particular skill set will be available overnight to everyone. This explosion of creativity and highly detailed digital artwork will become the subject of fierce debate. That debate has already started, to a degree, but when this technology is refined further, that debate will only intensify. Purity of artwork will almost certainly become an issue or a focal point because when this technology is released, you will never again be able to know for certain if the images you see online were created by a human or a program. Ideas, images, and concepts that were trapped in the minds of millions of people will be free to populate the online world in an instant. And for those who are now able to bridge that gap, never before having been able to, between imagination and reality, this will be an incredible thing with incredible results. However, those are not the only people involved, and where some of us may view stable diffusion to be a beautiful, exciting, and fascinating technology, others are seeing it as a threat. Stable diffusion and similar AI will supplant or destroy a supermajority of artistic careers. Maybe not now, maybe not tomorrow, but soon. AI-generated artwork will be able to produce on-command concept art for video games, storybooks, album covers, book covers, posters, t-shirts, and more. An untold number in the millions of people who illustrate for a living online will see that career vanish or dramatically downsize. 
Why would you pay hundreds of dollars and spend days or weeks of iteration to find a satisfactory graphic when you can generate them at will with sophisticated, detailed results? How likely is it that well-crafted human artwork will rise to the top when billions of images are generated by hundreds of millions of people who never before had that option? Third-party websites that sell posters or merchandise will be accessible now to everyone. Fantasy artwork, landscapes, illustrations, and paintings can be crafted with a few strokes of a keyboard, while the results are breathtaking, even indistinguishable from existing high-level professional artwork, and cheaper in both cost and labor than anything made by a human. Stable Diffusion will radically transform the entire creative industry. Existing artists will begin to draw battle lines. This is just one of many potential crossroads, but how we react to this new technology will be extremely telling. Will we embrace this new world of artistry as convenient, successful, and desirable? Or will a purist movement against the use of AI imagery win out, eventually? I find myself wondering if we will see ethically sourced tags on products now to indicate that human beings created the artwork, not machines. But either way, the direction we go when faced with this one unique inflection point will paint a picture of where we might head when faced with future, more impactful moments. Questions of ethics will only increase, because this AI model, specifically Stable Diffusion and other similar programs, was trained on the work of existing artists. Able to replicate their unique style, Stable Diffusion isn't just allowing a new demographic to create, it can be perceived as replacing an existing group of artists, giving their skill set over to those that previously did not possess it. The model was trained on existing imagery, and as a result, it will often try to replicate artist signatures in the corner of the painting and watermarks in the work that it produces. This work is done in a specific style, perhaps a style that artists spent their entire lives perfecting, and soon that style will be free to use as well as free to replicate for anyone and everyone who wishes. Beyond the ethical pitfalls, there is a legal quagmire of potential issues. Massive corporations with highly recognizable trademarks will be faced with a never-ending tsunami of visual content generations that may very well contain highly accurate depictions of their property. Disney, Warner Brothers, Fox, and more, the standard media giants and their cohorts, will want to create new systems of moderation to protect their legal rights. And even further, Stable Diffusion can create near-photorealistic depictions of celebrities, politicians, and other existing public figures. How this model gets used and the images that it makes will become a battleground almost overnight. Some people will use it to create compromising images or deceptive content. And my personal belief is that community self-moderation is the only answer. This technology should not be restricted or controlled. However, that belief will not be shared by everyone. The developers of this new technology will be under immense pressure, political, ethical, public, and private pressure from numerous different sides to control what their creation can do. I can't say with certainty where the chips will fall, eventually, but governmental regulation, big tech moderation, and public outcry will all become a factor as this new technology advances. The artists whose work was used to train this new technology didn't ask to be included. They weren't consulted about the possibility that hundreds or thousands of their creations would train an AI on how to perfectly replicate their style and supplant them. And while a strictly legal perspective might find that this is entirely acceptable, there will be pushback from all sides from those who feel that their livelihood and their individuality is threatened. Moral panic over the nature of what this new technology is and what it can do will abound. References and comparisons to prior AI text initiatives that learned racist and homophobic rhetoric from online message boards will become a common attack vector against those who advocate for increased freedom. Outrage over algorithmic bias for image output will undoubtedly appear, as activists argue that training data has made this AI too strict or too liberal with its usage of aesthetics and body types. An AI trained on internet imagery is going to have skewed standards of beauty. It is going to be a product of how it was trained, and there will always be controversy in tow as it interprets the flawed human world around it, producing what it believes we want. For all the hardship and tricky moral questions involved, this new technology will also open an entirely new world of possibilities. The applications that are possible for it in game design, story illustration, and merchandising are limitless, even so far as to create an emerging and likely very large economy of text prompts themselves being refined, bought, and sold on marketplaces. The skill set of directing this AI to produce things that capture attention will become an entire artist field of its own. Sculpting those images into collages, videos, and other formats will bring attention to those elite few who spend the time required to truly understand and control this technology. But the artistic world as we know it today will be radically transformed in the process. Synthetic media is going to become a battleground of ideology and disagreement. 
We are advancing at a pace which has gone far beyond our collective ability to moderate new technology. And this exponential speed curve is not going to stop or even slow down just because some people fight back against it. Is that wrong? Is it right? I can't really say, but it's true. And the consequences, as well as the benefits, of releasing this type of technology into the public domain will be far-reaching and evolving. Stable diffusion, based on stability AI, will be open source. By the people, for the people. But other competing models are not the same. Some of them require paid subscriptions, and this also gives rise to certain philosophical questions. Is it right that one technology firm can train an AI on hundreds of years of collective human history, individual work, style, creativity of existing people, only to then charge humanity for access to it, and sell that learning back to them? In preparation for this video, I consulted with about 10 people. Some of them are researchers with access to Stable Diffusion, some of them have developer access to Dolly 2, some of them are beta users for other programs like Midjourney, and I myself have extensively used Disco Diffusion and Midjourney with every effort made to gain access to Stable Diffusion itself, but no luck just yet. The community that is building behind this technology is fantastic. Ethical questions aside, the people using these new tools are able to express a level of creativity that they never even dreamt of. The process is simple enough, and some of the options are also free for the public on a trial basis. Joining the Midjourney Discord server, for example, will let you watch a never-ending stream of AI-generated images and high-fidelity artwork flow past as people experiment with the technology, crafting fantastic and often visually stunning artwork. I went through hundreds, possibly thousands of different prompts before choosing a thumbnail. The chat rooms for just this one Discord server are populated with tens of thousands of testers, producing things I never could have conceived of in seconds. The styles are endless, the options infinite, and when you truly spend time exploring this new technology, it becomes clear that the release of imaging AI is a truly historic moment. Whether that moment is positive or negative remains to be seen. For some, this will be the fall of a career. Artistic majors who barely scrape by as it is will have a level of competition they cannot possibly prepare for. But for others, this will be a doorway to untapped and wonderfully new creative potential. There will be pitfalls and side effects, but if we can find a way to use this AI properly, it has limitless artistic potential. However, the possibility of harm is just as great. As the ability for any idea, any idea at all to be visualized improves, we will face significant challenges. Verifying what is and is not real will become harder than it ever has been before. Our ability to be creative means creativity of all kinds, and with that new frontier is the possibility of deception or manipulation. Artistic AI is some of the most fascinating technology I have ever seen. I will be studying it, learning about it, and hopefully becoming an expert myself. I believe it is the future of the art world, and I will be a part of that future wherever I possibly can, but this technology is also dangerous, highly controversial, and prone to abuse. It will be the cause of debate, argument, and disagreement, as well as countless other controversies and scandals, because of its disruptive and unknown effects. How we handle that is important, and I will hopefully cover this topic again far more in depth in time, but for today I want to showcase what has very clearly become an artistic revolution in progress that will fundamentally change the visual world around us, specifically online. That's it. If you want to support, please check out the links down below. Patreon, Locals, Odyssey, another YouTuber to check out, merchandise, social media, etc, etc. But I'll cut it there and stop rambling. As always, thank you all for watching, and have a nice night.